to jump to the screen and help her so bad. <laughs> it's not working. Hi, beautiful. How are you? So, shout out to Becky, one of my accountants. She got me this and like, what a gem. Like, are you kidding me? How cool. Today, I've been sent a video this week thousands and thousands of times. <laughs> Sophia Nygaard did a thing this week. Apparently, she cut her own hair following a at-home haircutting tutorial and... Why, girl? Why? Why are we doing that? Once upon a time, I did a little collabby lab, whatever you want to call it, with Sophia. And I did her hair color and her hair cut. And that was many a months ago. Her and Tyler came to New York and we did her hair. And it was really fun. And I was very nervous because here I am, little old Brad, just doing some hair for, you know, just a casual 10 million people to see. <laughs> Scary. If you don't already know. It was fun. It was a lot. It was... A lot of people watch Sophia's videos. So I did it, it turned out great, it was a blast. And now obviously Sophia's hair is a lot longer than it was before, so she took it into her own hands and followed a tutorial to cut her own hair. And I am about to watch that video and tell you guys what I think about the job that she did to her own hair. Hopefully it's good, hopefully it's not bad. Hopefully her hair is still on her head. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but hopefully it still is. Hopefully she didn't shave it. I don't know why she would shave it. Hopefully she didn't though. I, I'm I'm gonna start watching the video now. Okay. So without further ado, I'm a hairdresser. I make these reaction videos a lot, and I'm gonna react to Sophia's video. Let's do it. Hello, Hello. friends, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna be following a YouTube tutorial's instructions on how to cut my own hair. And then I'm going to be cutting my own hair. Cutting my own hair. Cutting my own hair. I haven't cut it or done anything official to it's it me. since Brad Mondo snipped it for our perfect makeover video. Sophia was low-key shook about that haircut. <laughs> Sophia, if you're watching, girl, you were shook. You were like, whoa, it's short. And I was like, it is. But it was good. I think you ended up liking it. <laughs> or you lied to me, I don't know. Now, I don't think I'm the first person to do this. In fact, I know I'm not the first person to do this. My only hope is that I don't end up in a hairdresser reacts video. Uh, that is a <laughs> disaster. Never. Okay, so we've transformed Never. Sort of like a Welcome hopefully to hairdresser reacts. <laughs> So after looking Ooh, through girl. quite a bit of the YouTube Ooh. cutting your own hair Ooh. video to cut Yo, they're your own going hair, in. Up, there seem to be like two general categories of self haircut tutorial. Long bobs, short bobs, it's up to you, Bob. As I mentioned before, I'm looking to take out a little length, so I'm okay. leaning towards the long bob path, which actually isn't a super different length than from when Brad cut my hair, though his style was more layered and he also lightened my hair a bit, which I think worked well and looked good for for like spring and summer, but now that it's November, I'm looking for something more severe. Blunt and dark. Yeah, She's now going that dark again! Time is no, I'm so real! I like her heart lighter. Oh, it's oh it's cute God. light. Oh, Sophia blonde? Like, would that be crazy? Yeah, it'd be crazy. So I will be dyeing the leftovers of my hair back to my natural color, or perhaps even a bit darker. That darker? Basically, put your hair into two pigtails with rubber bands, and then use the rubber bands to measure where you should cut, and then chuck. That seems to be the general advice from everyone. Cut along with the rubber band. Listen, hairdressers use the same technique. If you're cutting up major lengths of hair, you can always put an elastic in and cut it. Just you have to make sure every single piece is perfectly straight if you're cutting on dry hair and comb it very nicely to the front. It seems like some videos employ like a unicorn horn method, <laughs> while others opt to like top. The unicorn horn method she's referring to is how you would give yourself a lot of layering in your hair. So if you're over directing the hair upwards, you're pulling all your hair up and cutting it at the same length, which ends up when it falls down, giving you all different lengths. Think about it. Might make sense to some people, might not, but that's how it works. I actually don't think my hair is uniformly long enough to pull it off down here. Or up there. So we're going with pigtails. We're going with the pigtails, guys. Whip out the scissors. Oh, 
There actually are a fair amount of We're combing. That's and always a good sign. Sure my part is where I want it to be. I feel like my part is always a little bit uneven. Is that a line? I see a part. But is it pretty straight? Good. It's pretty good. Whatever. Pretty good. And then the third step is to divide my hair into two even sections. Now here's a close-up of my dry ends. Beautiful. Need <laughs> of a cut. Do my yes. Kind of, honestly. A little bit, yeah. All right. No. The next step, Sophia has pretty healthy hair. The this is the uh, intermediary rubber band. And then do the She's same thing. She's doing a good job. Put away. Ooh, how's that? I'm glad that she decided not to part her hair in the center and then put the pigtails in because cutting on her part is gonna give her way more even end result if she's parting that way all the time. Yeah, I'm literally learning bed. something right now. This is very interesting to me. We are not taught hair. this in hair yes. school how to cut this like this. That's one. for sure. The other one was just a throwaway. It's like Listen. shoulder length or maybe a little bit above shoulder length, but I feel like for the initial chop, I should give a little bit of leeway and like go a little longer just because like when I'm gonna be even it out and fixing it I can only go shorter that's I always a good idea you guys if you're gonna cut your hair go longer not shorter because you can always take length off you cannot replace length I learned that the hard way in hair school when I was cutting people's hair too short and they would be like what did you do to me and I'm like do you want me to pick the hair back up off the floor cuz I can do that but it's not gonna go back onto your head sweetheart I actually did say this to me I'm just gonna go check in the bathroom I think that this rubber band over here is slightly lower than this this rubber band, but I think the lower rubber bands are at the same height. We hope. She's cutting like scared. three inches. She's like, scared. Should I be scared? I mean, I guess it makes sense to be nervous, but I felt like we were just going along so well, so confidently. She was telling me what to do, <laughs> and now I'm not so sure. All right, so she just cuts right above the rubber band. Yes. And she just starts so like, satisfying. Oh. I'm gonna do this side cut first because I can it. see it in cut this it. mirror here. All right, I just want to make sure my scissors aren't like Got at an angle. I mean, I guess we would just end up with an angled bob, but. So, what are those scissors you're using? Ready? Cut away. We could have at least got hair scissors. <laughs> Ooh, she's cutting a little oh, upwards, which worries me a little bit. Now it's yeah. Worse. She said it's at an angle. Ooh, the angle. Look. <laughs> Girl, what is that angle? I saw that angle. I was not happy with it. Oh my god. The weird thing is, like, it looks crazy right That's here, a lot right? of hair. She crazy. cut a lot but off. Right here, it and it's short. Okay. And I love it. I'm determined to come back. And listen, we all start from somewhere. Like Drake, I I'm so excited for her. It's gonna look so good. <laughs> what is that? I'm trying to now mess up the same amount on both sides. You ready? <laughs> no, just cut it straight. No. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't like to go cut towards her face. It makes me really bad. nervous. Oh my god. Oh, this is a hack job. This is character assassination. You know what? Oh. They look pretty similar. <laughs> I think oh. that if I oh. were to ever do this again, oh. I would need a couple more pigtails. Because my pigtails are just way too thick for me to hack through. Yeah, she should probably have done like four. Yes. Now it's time to reveal how the actual cut looks. I guess we should see what I'm going to see. And then we'll clean it up. Oh! oh. Uh, oh, it's incredibly uneven. Oh, right, yeah. Right, it's kind of bad. <laughs> no! That's no! Really no! 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 Sophia! You hacked it, girl. You hacked it. <laughs> it's majorly longer in the bag. Okay, first I check. The length itself, I It really looks good. Like, yeah, the length looks good. The back, oh! Like, the jaggedness. But, like, I like oh. this. How is she gonna fix this? Oh, it's it's still pretty choppy, so I think we're gonna have to fix <gasps> How is she gonna fix this? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how she's gonna fix this. I am going to split my hair once again into like halves and then try and see if I can't cut them even. Comb the hair straight, pinch your hair with your fingers, slide it down till you reach the end, and then cut off those jagged ends straight. I'm having a hard time with my depth perception. That's not doing a lot for me. Like, as I let go, it's still really long. So here's the thing, Sophia. Because you over-directed your hair forward, you're gonna get more length in the back than in the front. See how that works? So, 
So you're pulling all the hair forward, cutting it, and then letting it back down. And all that length that was over directed to the front ends up in the back of your head. Yeah, I know, it's kind of sucky. But that's why we usually over direct back. So then you have more length in the front. So, all right, I'm going to do uh, a first evening pass by do Cherie's method, just because I don't ooh. think that she anticipated my level of mess up. So I feel like now there's less of that like crazy long stuff. Now it's more just like generally jagged. That's my right, like so cringe hair dance. So now I'm gonna go back to hair Cherie's dance. method of like pinching the hair together and cutting Stop straight across. Stop over directing it forward, Cynthia. Yeah. She's gonna, gonna keep cutting length out the front and it's gonna get shorter and, and the back's gonna keep staying long. How? Because it seems like every time I put no, my hair stop together, the front. I end stop up cutting, cutting the front. like the front part of my hair, which is already like the length I want, and then stop the cutting back the front. part like, doesn't end up doing anything. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a trend. This is so hard to watch because I want to jump to the screen and help her so bad. It's not working because you're over directing the hair. <laughs> The other girl's cutting a way longer length, which is gonna be easier to over direct and get more of an even line. With a bob, it's it's one of the more complicated haircuts, and I do not recommend doing that at home because you know when somebody did an at home bob haircut, it's not cute. I'm not sure there's really much more I can do at this point. I mean, listen, okay, it's looking better. Right She's now, point cutting. Like we love that. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, she's a reverse A-line bob now. <laughs> she seems to do a really good job. Oh no, hers is longer in the back too. And I think that for me, her tutorial definitely like worked to a degree. I had some fun doing the main choppage, <laughs> and I'm still like pretty impressed by these guys right here. But I think in general, I may need to seek some professional help for yes, my help. But for now, we're just gonna move on oh. to the dye, and hope that if I darken everything up a bit, it'll be harder to see. I mean, All right, cool. you can't really mess this up, but let's see what happens. I mean, she's just doing a dark hair color. When your hair is already dark and you're just putting dark over it, it's really not that serious. To be honest, I've just like been so ready to dye my hair. All right, here's to hoping that's enough dye in my hair. So I'm gonna wait another like 20 or I would have put way more on, so. but it looks fine. Like, wash it looks it fine, it'll work. We'll check back in and see how it is. Okay, so this is my hair after it's been washed and dried. And I think that overall- That color looks nice. It's nice, listen, it's- Nice. I just like Sophia's hair a little lighter. I know you guys, I always love her to be blonde, but like, <laughs> so <laughs> it ended up coming out. <laughs> Easily fixable. I love the length. The color looks nice. I like it lighter, but the color looks nice. And I'm very proud of Sophia for following that tutorial correctly. However, that tutorial you were following was not a very good one. Unless you want a, a backwards A-line bob, but if you want an actual A-line bob, which A-line bob looks like this, then you direct the hair back and you let it go forward. That's it for that. Whew. And like I told you guys, I'm starting my Instagram shoutouts again. So today's Instagram shoutout is... Gigi, she says, hey Brad, love your channel. I've already done my hair to lighter blonde, but I'm aiming for white. What do you think? I also keep considering cutting it short, but I love my hair too much to just brave it. This is what she looks like. And this is what it looked like when she bleached it from her natural to whatever she has now. And she says, this is the original first bleach. It's definitely not this light anymore. Okay, girl, I love your hair color. I honestly think it looks better now than it did in the picture before. You know, bleach blonde hair tends to fade, but I actually really love this new color on you, the one that just ended up fading. Uh, and also the color just oxidizes naturally. So it's not always gonna look as lustful and gorgeous as it does when you first color it. So I hope that answers your question. I love your hair now and I would not touch a thing. If you guys want to be the next Instagram shout out of the week, DM me on Instagram with a picture of you without a filter and ask me one simple question about your hair you would like answered in the other one of my videos. My Instagram and Twitter is down below at brownlone.nyc. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.